Prices are going up on what we deem essentials of our everyday life. So what could it look like for us by 2030? Hi, I'm Matt with Carlin Financial Group. For the best retirement information and to help make sure you don't run out of money, subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to be notified when we post new videos. Right now, as we near the end of 2021, we're seeing some steep increases in the prices of everyday living. But often those changes tend to happen gradually over time in a way kind of lulling us to sleep. Inflation, as this increase in prices is known, has a way of sneaking up on us. Sometimes we may not even notice because it's so gradual. But if we really take a look back, we might be shocked at just how much more we're paying for goods and services today than we once did. So today I want to share some examples of how inflation can affect what some cost might be in the coming years. Of course, these are speculations and predictions. The numbers could be lower, they could be higher than predicted, but we'll use some historical averages going back to the year 2000 to see what we come up with. Inflation is um, a measurement of how fast the prices of goods and services increase. So if inflation rises, so do prices. For example, if you buy a home in 2030, it could be almost 27% more expensive than it would be today. That means a house that costs $400,000 today could be $506,388 by 2030. And depending on where you purchase that home, it could be even more expensive. In fact, the average home in Washington State will probably be around $782,708. If you're dreaming about moving to Hawaii, you'll likely pay over $889,000 and on the top of that list is the state of California, where the average home in 2030 will likely cost more than a million dollars. Have you noticed anything in particular becoming more expensive where you live? Let us know in the comments. One area where some people have surely felt the pinch recently is in the cost of groceries. <laughs> but what could that look like 10 years or so from now? So if you make a trip to the grocery store today and spend $250, that same food and beverage could cost more like $315. That's an increase of about 26%. If you like fresh fruit, get ready to pay the piper because prices for fresh fruit have been rising at about twice the cost of meat, poultry, and fish recently. The price of health care has always been a major concern, especially in retirement. A retired couple in 2021 was projected to need about $300,000 in savings to cover health care costs in retirement. By 2030, that cost could rise to over $350,000. Health care costs in general could increase about 20% over that same period of time. Finally, gas and transportation, which have an average inflation rate of about 1.38%, could be 15% more expensive by 2030. So a car that costs $40,000 today could run you $45,858 in 10 years. However, <laughs> The transportation industry could look completely different by 2030. Electric vehicles could certainly throw a wrench into those projections. There could be as many as 145 million EVs on the road by then. Plus, some car makers are working to cut the cost of batteries for EVs in half by 2030. And that, along with self-driving technology, may make it almost impossible to predict what the cost of driving a car would be in 10 years. Inflation has been with us our entire lives and it is here to stay. If you're under 40, you may not even have noticed since inflation rates have been low for many years now. But if you're in your 60s or older, you're probably well acquainted with how much prices can change over time. It's something that needs to be planned for, especially as we've said before in retirement. We've been helping our clients create those plans for over 35 years. If you feel you could benefit from a review or a second opinion, we would be happy to talk with you. You can look for information down below on how to apply to become a client. Subscribe to our channel and remember to ring that bell to be notified when we post new videos. So we hope this information was helpful, thought provoking. Thanks again for joining me and remember, changes will come in your retirement. So live today, plan for tomorrow.